Meghan Markle and Prince Harry let go of romance in unseen nighttime snaps. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spent Valentine's Day in Canada to attend the Invictus Games one year to go celebrations, but they made sure to treat themselves to a romantic dinner. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry appear to be business as usual as they showed no sign of romance in unseen photos from Valentine's Day. The couple spent the romantic holiday in Canada, and headed to upscale Italian restaurant Il Caminetto for a special treat. They also visited the Squamish Lillard Cultural Center with Youth Ambassadors Chief Nelson and Wilson Williams. Never-before-seen photos from the trip also show the Duke and Duchess of Sussex smiling at a cocktail party with friends. Meghan wore a navy blue long-sleeved blouse and black suit pants, and completed her look with gold hoop earrings from Bottega. Harry chose a button-down shirt and a dark blue jacket. Although the couple took photos on a very romantic day, body language expert Judy James, said they seemed to have abandoned the rituals of their love. She told the Mirror, it appears to be business as usual for the couple despite the fact that it was Valentine's Day, as Meghan made no hint of Valentine's Day by wearing a loose, covered-up black shirt with her hair flat and tucked behind her. There are no romantic body language moments from the loved-up couple here, who either flank one of their hosts or stand together but without their trademark loving gazes or ritual touching. Even when Harry gestures to Meghan for something, she keeps her hands clasped firmly in front of her torso rather than using any of her touching touches of endearing approval. The body language expert suggested that Meghan and Harry were aware of the cameras. They seem to be very aware of the camera here and more eager to provide social poses for those cameras than to share any intimate gestures or moments with each other, she explained. After Harry and Meghan went out to dinner on Valentine's Day, a source revealed that they enjoyed a very intimate meal at Il Caminetto. They sat in a secluded corner of the main restaurant and looked like any other couple on Valentine's Day. They were smiling all the time and kept touching each other's arms. It was lovely to see them looking so in love, a source told the Daily Mail. Meghan will be thrilled with the options at Il Caminetto, where the restaurant stocks her favorite wines for $369 a bottle, diners can enjoy a splash of the Tignanello wine, which Meghan named in her now-defunct blog The Tig. Il Caminetto is one of the most expensive restaurants in Whistler, and its specialties include a bacon appetizer for £16.80, a 10 ounces New York beef steak for £44, or a lobster and saffron linguine for £29.15.